Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. This is the third channeling, the third message in the series for those in Australia. We're talking about remarkable things that are current. Sometimes the remarkable is questionable by some because often it is accompanied by challenge. One of the things that is happening right now that seems odd because so much of it is occurring all at once is one of the most remarkable current events possible. It's starting in certain freer countries like yours and beginning to extend to others which have been closed for a long time. How do I describe this? What kind of dark activities are you seeing exposed that seem to be universal with humanity? That is to say, things that have always existed that were inappropriate. Things that were dark, but you couldn't do anything about. You knew were there, but, but the authorities could not help. The government could not help, and yet it was always there. Some said that those things were all funded by those in power, including government, so you never could touch them, but they were always there. Suddenly, remarkably, all over the planet, and especially in societies that are free like yours, these things are starting to shatter. Some are looking at society and they are wringing their hands because they watch the media and dark and ugly things are being exposed. And they say, what is this planet going toward? This is awful. This is ugly. And they go away depressed and thinking that it is indeed the end of things. However, the truth is this. These are things that were always there, but not revealed. What happens when you have something that is ugly and dark and horrible that you really haven't known about and suddenly it is on the news? You say, it's new. Well, it isn't new. You say, perhaps, well, it's new to me. Indeed it is, but it has always been there. There are so many of these things that are starting to fall, dear ones and many more to come. And it's all part of what I started to tell you about the remarkable things in the first channel. Remarkable because these things never were exposed in hundreds and hundreds of years. Did you know that the Greeks and the Romans had sex slaves as children? In other words, child sexual slavery in those cultures. Did you know that from their cultures all the way to modern society today, that still exists? Are you aware of how that actually works? And most would say no. They exist mostly for the elite. Did you know that? And therefore, the elite will keep the secret, and sometimes the elite will make sure it's funded well. Therefore, you have something unconscionable going on. One of the lowest things that you can imagine in consciousness is happening on a daily basis all through this planet. It is everywhere. And yet, suddenly, it starts to raise its head. Thousands of years, dear ones, with the same thing in societies. Why now? Why now would it start to be seen when those in power are in control of it? That is an oxymoron. That is counterintuitive to the times. And yet it begins. Lately, you got to see it, even in your own country. It begins all over the planet. But what has occurred just with you 
is rampant everywhere. I told you about this some years ago, and we said that there were even farms where women would have those children which were female, and those would be kept, and the others would not, and they would grow and be then used for slavery, sexual slavery. The most unconscionable things you can imagine. And suddenly they're coming to light. And I'll tell you, you are not allowing this. This is remarkable. What is remarkable is that it was always there. Why now? Would it start to come to light? And why aren't the ones in power able to push it back where it went before under the mainstream? And the answer is because in a higher consciousness, it won't be possible. That's remarkable. In my partner's country, there have been biases between the races. And they have been there for decades and decades. And occasionally they will be seen, they will come out. There will be those in the streets who will object. And then they'll go away. And then they'll come out again. And then they'll go away. Some horrible thing will happen that will, will show it in all of its, of its dysfunction. And it'll go away. Suddenly, it's not going away. Dear ones, this is remarkable. For the pattern has always been of suppression. To make it go away and have it reoccur some other time. But now it remains, and it remains in a way where you might look at those in the streets and you might say, what is happening in America? There will be those who say, well, I don't want to go there. There's too much unrest. I'll tell you, dear ones, it was always there. But now there are Americans who say, we do not want this to go away. It's time for change. And it's not time to simply change laws. It's time to change other activities. It's time to vet those, perhaps, who you didn't vet before in certain institutions before they can ever be, for instance, an authority figure. These are the kinds of things that never were presented before. Ideas that are happening which seem to be radical to get the attention, finally, of those who might change this instead of suppressing it and putting it aside. Do you see what I'm saying? How many years, dear ones, has clergy been abusing young boys? How many years? What would you guess? And there were those who know, and they would say, since the beginning of clergy. And you'd be right. When you take something so beautiful and sacred and you create certain kinds of rules that will create frustration, such as celibacy, and you make edicts that say only males can do certain things spiritually and females cannot, you go against the grain of the true, true core issue of the spirituality of humanism. What I'm telling you is that the design is that women would carry the mantle, the cloak, if you wish, of spirituality. They are the mothers. They are the ones who have intuition. They are the ones who are the most loving. They are the soft ones. When a human gets in trouble, they want their mother, not their father. And yet it went the other way, did it not? And in the process, the worst of the worst happened. And the clergy started to abuse the young boys, and they continued, and they continued, and they continued. By the thousands, into your modern society, and only just recently has this been exposed to what it is, admitted. And the start of change occurs. When is the last time you had a pope resign? in the middle of the term, who didn't really seem to be sick and is still here. That is called a wild card. Remarkable. 
allowing for another pope to come in with attributes and attitudes that would start to eliminate the horrors that existed within the church. They're trying, dear ones. They're trying. They're starting to see that which is not appropriate that's always been there. Thousands of years? Yes. Truly, at least a thousand. That has been the way of it. And suddenly, it's not. When did you think you would see a time when these things would start to be exposed, not just gradually, but in layers? There's this one, and there's this one, and this one, and, and oh, by the way, what about the biases between genders? What is that about? You know what I speak here. If you are a woman, there were times when you were asked to know your place. There were times, many times, when women would not be allowed to have a say or have an opinion or to vote. And then even in modern times, they were not allowed to have the same jobs. You know what I'm saying. And suddenly, that starts to change. Activities in the workplace, consciousnesses that are not appropriate, starting to reveal themselves between the genders. It's always been there. It's in your father's world and his father's world and his father's world. And now suddenly it is starting to be seen, not just seen, but corrected. I've just listed four items. Oh, there's more. All of these items, dear ones, are the untouchables. The untouchables are starting to be touched. Why now? How would you explain this remarkable current situation? And I did, and I told you why, and I did the first channel, and I told you that this is the new normal, and this is why these times are difficult. There are so many who see that. And they don't like it because it, it has changed, and there's objection. There's demonstration, perhaps. There are those who are angered by the dysfunction of low consciousness and finally making the changes. There are young people starting to come up who are going to run for office soon, who have grown up in this atmosphere, and I will tell you they're not going to shift and turn suddenly simply because they run for office. They're going to carry through what's happening now into a higher consciousness that eventually will affect government. There's more. There are industries that are inappropriate. Industries that not just inappropriately pollute the planet, but industries that inappropriately will keep those sick and dying for money. And I think you know of what I speak. Industries that are so rich with abundance that no one can touch them until now. Dear ones, when you find out what is happening with some of these companies who will sell you medicines saying this is for this and that and realize that all along they've had the full cure for diseases, that people are dying of around you. And you will ask, how could they do that? How is that possible? And they will quote things like amortization schedules where they have to get their money back on certain kinds of drugs before they can release the ones that actually work. Is that conscionable? Does that have integrity? The answer is no. Dear ones, this is happening everywhere. Greed. Is it possible that this is an age that will start to see the edge of greed start to diminish? And the answer is yes. 
I am giving you things to look forward to and things that you can see happening before your eyes. Have you connected the dots yet? Have you seen how remarkable this is? Or does it happen too slowly? Or do you have an idea that, oh, well, that's just for now? It's not just for now. There's more and more of this happening, more and more. Remarkable. This is the light that is being turned on as the ancients said it would be, awareness and awakening, where you start to look around and you say, that isn't right. And there will be others who say, shh, don't say anything because those in power will do something and you'll say, that isn't right. And your neighbors will agree and those neighbors will agree. And finally, all will see, no matter how much money is involved, it's not right. That the heart will start to win and the things that are inappropriate will start to diminish more and more. Oh, dear ones, you won't have a perfect world, but you're going to have one a lot better than it is now. Those listening to this program are old souls. You are the ones who are going to make the difference in what you allow and don't allow and what you teach your children to allow and don't allow. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening now. And it's remarkable. I'll be back. And so it is.